Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Paul Reed and I'm a professional photographer. Do you ever get so wrapped up in life that you just can't get out with the camera? This happens to me sometimes. In fact, it happened last week and I just, it was coming up on a, on a week that I hadn't been out with the camera. And what I find is if I haven't got out there within a week with the camera and been creative, then I start to get really down and I just don't want that at all. So I'd planned to do a shoot of Khadija at the beach. Unfortunately, this happened. Somebody decided to write off my car whilst it was parked and there's nothing really that you can do about that. Unfortunately, there's not many trains that go to the beach. So I was feeling a bit stuck and I was feeling a bit twitchy, just thinking, how am I gonna get somewhere to take photographs? So I just kind of pivoted a bit and rather than going elsewhere, decided to use our garden as the studio for the portraits that we were gonna do. Now the weather wasn't great and for this shoot that I had in mind, it really wasn't going to get the look that I was wanting. So what I decided to do was use some artificial light in order just to throw a bit of light into the subject's eyes. Maybe warm it up a little bit. And then also, because some of these shots were going to be in the shade of trees and things, I knew I was going to need something to help me out. I also wanted to shoot it on film. I wanted to shoot it on, believe it or not, colour film. And the reason that I shot some of these on colour film rather than just on black and white film was because part of it was there was colours that were relevant in the photographs. And I always say this about monochrome photography and colour photography. If I'm shooting colour, I'm shooting colour for a reason. I'm shooting it because the colours are relevant. A little while back, I received a small rig LED light now this has been something that i've been dying to use and i really was thinking i'm going to start using this a bit on my portraits it's the rc100b now small rig did send me this to try it out and just to see what i thought of it and also let my viewers know if it's good or if it's bad and this was the perfect excuse in order for me to get out there and use this light now it's actually lighting this setup now and this is at its minimum setting so I've got like a soft box on there which came with the light and it's you know this was the real kind of main reason why I really wanted this light was just to light these videos but then when I seen how bright the thing was I thought hang on a second I can be using this for my portraits as well because sometimes the light just isn't there and I've never really been one to use a lot of studio flash or even LED lights but LED lights have come on such a long way and it's so good that you know you can change the temperature and everything on this light it's really really light and as long as you've kind of got like either a handle or a stand, something to hold it up, then you definitely can do that. They also sent me these two batteries, which I actually, I, I think look really cool. And you just slot those onto the back. What that does is it just means that you've got no wires or anything. And obviously if you're doing an outdoor shoot, then it means that it's fully portable and you can still get that light outdoors. I wanted to see how long those batteries lasted and and I actually did leave them on for the entire shoot and I guess the batteries maybe got down to maybe about 65-70% so there's definitely plenty of life in the batteries for a, you know a shoot or maybe even two or three shoots before you'd have to recharge those batteries again. I hope you enjoy these photos. I used film because I really wanted a kind of 50s, 60s retro look and I much prefer doing that on film rather than doing it digitally and then trying to get that look afterwards. I find it much easier to kind of shoot on film and it almost automatically gets that look. I used a Leica M6 and I used a 50mm 1.4 TT Artisans lens. Now, what did I do again? I keep making this mistake. I left that Black Pro Mist filter on that lens by accident. 
I keep swapping that filter over to different lenses that I think that I'm not going to be using for a while and then I end up forgetting that it's on there and using it but actually I really like the look of it. great thing is is with all the accessories and things that you've got for it they just click on really easily and then there's just a little button where you can just take them off again batteries go on really well so yeah it's definitely something which i'm going to be using and you know watch this space i'm going to be using it possibly on some of my street portraits just to let you know there's another podcast on the monochrome madness members page so if you're not already a Monochrome Madness member, then go over to the link in the description and there you can join up to that for free. There's lots of free content on there. There's three different long podcasts on there with three amazing photographers and you'll really enjoy everything that's on there. I'm so pleased I got out and did that shoot the other day because it just really reinvigorates me. It's sustenance for me, photography, and I just need to be out there doing something creative with my camera so I'm just so pleased that I had those to show you today. I'm going to leave you with this little bit of movie. This was the day after the shoot and this was the kind of day that I was hoping it was going to be. I probably wouldn't have had to have used the light that day but I was glad I had it. Enjoy the video. See you next time.